Today, we are going to be digging footings for the underground movie theater. Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star, and welcome to the 100% restoration and remodel of my great-great-grandfather's $7,000 mansion, and welcome to Corn Star Farms. Now for today's project, I ask that everybody bears with us because today could potentially be a highly chaotic day where things change a lot. We currently have two semis sitting in the driveway because my dad, my brother, and Zach are going to try to harvest some soybeans. We have 40 acres out of a thousand acres of soybeans done, so they are going to try to move to the next field, and if they need help, I'm going to be jumping back and forth. I may be in semi some, I may be in the field with the combine, I may be in the grain cart, and then I may be back here. So it's going to be potentially a little bit of a runaround day, but when it comes to the underground movie theater, we are going to be hopping in the mini excavator today, and we are going to be digging the footings for the underground movie theater. So basically everywhere where we have gravel down there, we are going to be digging down 18 inches and preparing an area for the footings. Working in the underground movie theater is something we have been looking forward to for an extremely long time. We initially got this hole dug and then we hit a bunch of groundwater down here. And so we had to install drain systems underneath of this floor and dig massive trenches and stuff over there. And we did a lot of work over here. And then once we got that done, we were not able to continue work until we got all of the big jobs done in the existing basement. And the existing basement has been a can of worms. It's just been one thing leading into another, leading into another, leading into another, which led to several months of work. But we now officially have all of the big stuff done in the existing basement. So we are done over here until we get our work done in the underground movie theater now. So Roman is getting some string lines laid down currently. So that way we have some reference on where we need to dig with the mini excavator. So we can see right here, we're gonna be shooting straight back. Our footing is going to be four feet wide, so two feet on each side of the line. And then we are going to have to dig this thing down 18 inches. So it is gonna go all the way back to just about the mini excavator across, and then down this side. And then on this elevated platform that I'm standing on, we are going to need to remove the soil underneath of my feet all the way over here to the wall four feet wide as well, plus some, so that way we don't get cave offs down here. So we definitely have our work cut out for us today. We, to be honest, Roman has never done this before. I have never done this before, but we're gonna figure it out together, right? And I have a choice. <laughs> When I started today, I said that things could be a little bit all over the place. I have another little curveball to throw into the mix. I have some computer work that I need to take care of for our Bensite lawsuit. I have some stuff that I need to review, and then I need to figure out how much rebar we are going to need for the footings in the underground movie theater, as well as the walls, because I need to be getting that on order. So while I am working on this, Roman is going to get started out in the mini excavator, and then Dad, Cooper, and Zach should about be getting the combine fired up by now. This is gonna be the center of our wall. This is gonna be the edge of the footer and we'll need some working space past that. So we're probably gonna dig right here. From line to line, we need to dig all this out. Zach just called and he said, Daddy Cornstar, we need a wire tester. Sound like Cooper must have broke. I shouldn't say he did, there was a harness that came undone. So anyhow, we're gonna see if we can find a tester for him. And I think it's this one here he wants. And then he wants a few little fuses. They probably blew one or something when the wires broke. So hopefully this is what he needs. See if we can find some fuses. Sometimes it's hard to know if you're not out there exactly what they want. 
Zach and Cooper are pretty good on explaining what they want, so normally I don't have any troubles there, but sometimes my thinking is thinking a little different than I don't see any other little fuses, so we'll grab it, go and see what we find. Sometimes you almost need a person running around out here that can get parts. Sometimes the things we need may not be that big of a thing, like right now. Uh, oh, I thought I forgot the fuses. I'm like, oh no. But uh, years ago, it used to be my dad. He was the guy that kind of always ran around, got parts. And then when he passed away, I think I got that job and told the kids one time, like, I don't remember running around this much. And they're like, Dad, you are now grandpa. And actually, that's a pretty neat honor takes the team it takes a whole group to keep things going out here and we all pitch in together and that's one thing nice about a real good strong family we all work together and we're here for each other so I'm heading back to the combine and we'll see if we got the right tools that they need right now Cooper and Zach are working on the bean head it sounds like a down pressure sensor some wires got ripped out and Cooper got it repaired <coughs> but it sounds like they're having a little trouble so Zach was out testing some things before he got back here now they're checking fuses and stuff I haven't got to talk to them in a few minutes here so I don't know what they're finding out from in the cab it's always nerve-wracking when you got electrical issue going on trying to get it figured out sometimes can be like finding a haystack with a needle in it right now we got Zach up there he's blowing off the machine One nice thing about them leaf blowers, get things cleaned up while it's fresh. When you're trying to work on these things and that stuff's blowing all over your eyes, it's just miserable. Usually the bean heads and stuff, we try to clean them up really good, but what we're looking for is to make sure maybe a mouse didn't chew a wire somewhere. And that's why we try to get the equipment really clean when we put it away so there ain't a big old mound of bean dust or something where them little mice like, hey, this is a nice home and I can chew these wires. We got an update, not a very good update, but uh, Thing still ain't working on the head the way it is. Cooper got a hold of a case, but you know, right now they're busier than heck, so gonna get a mechanic out right now. Tried to make a few other phone calls. They're gonna try to send some pictures of the harness, but in the meantime, Cooper's gonna start running and run the bean head with his finger up and down, up and down, up and down. And I told him. Maybe I'll kick in and start working, who knows. Boys and girls, it's time to set up a laser and have a grade rod to help us. I just realized that I jumped the gun and moved away from my hole too soon because the 15 feet is actually to the top of the footer, not to the bottom. To the bottom it's going to be another 18 inches distance right here and we need to dig that yet and there's this is our little diagram that helped me to keep everything in mind this is the entrance the i-beam above it our rock wall the corner where we start digging this is where we dig right now and little schematics of what layers are we going to have? The foam, 2 inches, the concrete floor, 6 inches. That's how we get our 8 inch discrepancy. Sorry, and there is a rock too, 6 inches of rock. So basically all this helped me to keep everything in mind. And when you're thinking about something, you don't have to go through all this math every single time. You just can look at the picture and see what are you missing? This is why it would be super nice to have a set of plans ready so we don't have to scratch our head over and over. But we still are doing our best and keep moving. After about an hour and a half on the computer, I got everything taken care of that I need to get taken care of or at least until I get some emails back. So now we are going to step out and 
I guess we're gonna see if Roman needs any help. He's already got quite a bit of digging done down there, so it looks like he's doing just fine without me, but maybe we can make the work a little bit faster. And as I'm saying this, Dad is just pulling out with the first semi right now. I guess they just got started in the combine. They're still having some fits with the combine, but they got it going enough to at least let them run for a little bit. So they're gonna get started with that. We're gonna get to digging. I changed my mind. I'm gonna try to do it with excavator. Roman currently has the rotary laser set up down here. This is going to allow us to be able to establish grades. So you can see that the laser is spinning right there and it is putting a perfectly level laser all the way around this entire job site. We can't see it because it's light, but this little receiver right here on the end of the stick, it can sense it. So when it gets into the area of the laser, it does a solid beep when you're right on it. So I need to go down a little bit, right up, right up, did it for a second, right there. That is the height it needs to be at. So we can adjust that based on how deep we want to dig. So in this case here, Roman did a little bit of digging. He got this all flattened out and then he was trying to find grade. And upon a little bit of a discussion, we realized that we need to bump up just a little bit because right where Roman is, is at the depth that our tile line is at underneath of the mini excavator. And we do not want to hit that. So what we're going to end up doing is basically taking this rock that we have laid down and this is essentially the grade that we need to be at. And we are going to dig 18 inches below the surface of this. And then we are going to stop. And then we are going to come in, lay in rebar in the future, and then it will pour concrete. And then when we have the concrete poured, the concrete will be at the height of this rock. So our footing is going to be 18 inches thick. And then we're about three feet wide with our rock right now. We actually need to dig a foot wider because our footing is going to be four feet wide. So four feet wide, 18 inches thick, and a lot of rebar. Bar. <laughs> it's gonna be some concrete. We're back to load the first load of the day. Day two. I don't know if I told you about the uh, AGI Back Bat Co. This is a conveyor, little conveyor right there, right there. But this is fantastic for unloading our beans. Gentle, kind, and look at this. We can even fold it up. I might have to back up just a little. Maybe not, but them beans will go right in there. This is fantastic. Then the beans, the beans come up, come through here, they'll drop down here, and then they'll go through the AGI Westfield auger here, up to the top of the bend. Let's get the case tractor started here and get things rolling. Turn on the old PTO, the auger should run. Turn on this auger to run the conveyor. Sounds like Dad just pulled in with the first semi full of beans, so he is unloading that into the bin right now. Roman has a big pile of dirt in the middle of the underground movie theater from what he has dug right here. So I'm gonna go grab the skid loader. Probably gonna need to put some diesel fuel in it, and it is going to need to be greased, but I'm gonna work on getting rid of that pile so that way we have a little bit of room to move around down there. And our pile is going to keep getting bigger because we're gonna have more digging. So we're gonna need to make sure we get that out of there in order for us to actually be able to dig everything out the way that we need to dig it. Today is not a good day to be wearing a short sleeve shirt. Those little black bugs that bite really bad are out like crazy right now. All right, I'm another one. At least we will be protected on the inside of the skid loaders so long as they don't fly in with me when I'm getting in or out. We're sitting with a little bit less than a quarter of a tank of diesel in this and with all the work that we're gonna be doing today, we will for sure be burning through that or just about to where at least the low fuel light's gonna come on and I don't wanna listen to the beeper. So before we get too wild into it, we're just gonna get everything all topped off. Got the old grease gone. I don't think I need to grease the whole thing. I just got some grease circs right up here on the front of the bucket that just seems like these ones in here dry out way faster than all the other ones. They're one of those ones you have to hit it, 
till a bunch comes out and then you get in and then you pivot the bucket and then you hit it again then it starts coming out in a different spot and you have to do that a couple times until the whole cavity is filled up it's kind of a pain but i guess that's just the way that it's kind of formed on this skid loader We just got our first round of greasing done, so see how it all kind of pukes out right here, but we're still dry on the back side. So now I'm going to pivot it forward, then we're gonna hit it till grease comes out at a different spot. It'll probably shoot out here, and then we'll do that all the way around again, and then we'll tip everything all the way up, and then we'll do it again, and hopefully, then we should have a full 360 degrees of grease around all of our pins. We just had Cody out from Titan, the case dealer. I guess uh, there was some stuff turned off in the monitor of the combine. I'm not sure what all, but then he had to like ignite or something uh, to get things going and nothing too bad, recalibrated everything. I might be telling this story all wrong because I wasn't out there, but it sounds like they got the combine running and everything seemed like it was running good and Cody, the case mechanic, rode around a little bit with Cooper too just to... So that is fantastic. So thank you Cody for taking time to come out and getting us going. Here comes Zach flying around here. We are on a little bit of chiseled ground here. And I tell you what, this stuff is soft. And it's bumpy. because I got the skid loader all greased up and then I got called to more work on the computer. So Roman has been working by himself for the last several hours. I don't like just having people do all the hard stuff while I'm sitting in front of the computer. Now I know the computer stuff can be difficult and oftentimes it's just an incredible amount of thinking and I know it's extremely important, but I still don't like having somebody being out in the hot sun doing all the hard work while I'm sitting in here. But today it was just one of those things. I had computer things that I needed to get done so I bit the bullet and I got them done. But while I was doing that, Roman did get this side all dug out. So this is down to grade. So we have our 18 inch depth right there where he has dug out. And since I did not get in the skid loader, I still have the dirt pile there and I still have the rock pile over here. Now Roman actually did just go into town. He has arm wrestling practice tonight. He is going to go to the store because he needs to pick up some more marking paint because what he did over here, he is going to do the exact same thing over on the other side. Now we have a little curveball thrown into the system again. Remember Remember when we started today how I said we could have some potential curveballs? Well, Dad needs to go take off, so I am going to replace him in the semi. It looks like Cooper is combining some soybeans over here. The main farm is just right there on the horizon, so we're literally right in my backyard. Then we got Zach in the grain cart, and then P. Youngblood is here right now with his way wagon, so that way we can calibrate the yield monitor on the combine. And I'm not getting attacked by all the little black bugs because I wore a long sleeve shirt and I wore pants. Oh, we don't have Pete today, we have Gary. It's me. How are you doing? Not too bad, how are you? Good. Good. You staying out of trouble? Trying. <laughs> are you getting any sleep yet? 
A little bit. Good, a little bit. Whenever you guys can get more than two hours, you're doing all right. Yeah. <laughs> it's starting to slow down a little bit. Everybody's getting in the field, so it's, it's, sure. it's better. The, the first 10 minutes of pulling the combine out, everybody gets all riled up. That's for sure. Look at this bean plant. This is one plant. That thing just looks like a Christmas tree. <laughs> Look at all the pods on there. Holy tamales. Just like that, semi's full. I haven't pulled the semi onto this this year yet, or at least not with this trailer, so I don't know what. Okay, we need to back up just a little bit, it looks like. The handle on the crank. I've never actually opened this trailer before. This trailer is new to us this year. Now we have supplies and we can continue on, but before we get started, this needs to be out of the way and we'll then go from there because I've never done anything like it, so I don't know what exactly needs to happen after each project, so we'll just take one project at a time. Let's figure out what we're gonna do here because as I was hauling this dirt I realized that I should have dug that section there is gonna be a kick out right here like rectangular that's sticking out and I realized that should have been dug so I don't know what should I do obviously this is already dug so there's not much I can do at this point, but if we have to, I guess we can backfill this and then scrape it all out again. We'll see. But probably we'll concentrate on digging this out and then also think about how I'm gonna dig this trench. just after dark and we got everything unloaded and then we just called it a night and 
Then the, the next curveball came into play and I got a bunch of stuff thrown at me. I had lawyers responding back for the lawsuit on the Ben side stuff and I had to get things together there. I had the grant that we are filing through the USDA come back and I had some information that I had to get switched up there and then my grandma Judy called and she said hey I need you to get these two more papers for this thing that I need you to do at my bank so then I had to run up to a different attorney get copies of the papers because I didn't have them so I have just been running over all over the place getting a bunch of stuff done just not here so once again I feel bad leaving Roman by himself but he has been a rock star and a trooper doing that while I've been off managing all of this other stuff. But now I think all of my office stuff done. Well, not, did I, what, what did I just say? I think all of my office stuff is now done for at least a little while. I do have another meeting with those papers I got for my grandma in a little bit. But in the meantime, I am going to help Roman dig down here in the underground movie theater and get things leveled out. And it looks like Cooper just did a pass along the edge of the field right here behind the house. So they're going to be working on the 80 acres that we are currently looking at. Dad just got into the semi. He is firing that up. That is empty. So he's going to drive that out into the field and then Zach is helping Cooper. So we are going to be running on all cylinders in the combine today and we're going to be running on all cylinders down here. So I'm going to hop in the skid loader and get helping Roman. So the entire method behind the madness on what we got going on here is Roman took the mini excavator in the middle and he took down six inches with the bucket. So he's very careful to do it. And then he ended up using the dozer blade on the front so that way he could get everything nice and smooth. So he got this lowered six inches all the way down to the back and he is now getting rid of the last little bits of dirt with the skid loader. And so our reasoning behind that is we want to take the six inches off and then we are going to be adding six inches back, but this time with gravel. So when we get everything all done through here, this will be six more inches of gravel. So that way we have a nice dry environment that we can work on. And then if any water ever gets underneath of the floor in the future, it will have an area where it can percolate through to actually get to our drains. So that is going to be the entire purpose of having the rock down here, but we had to take the ground down a little bit so that way we could build the rock in and then not affect the ceiling height of the underground movie theater. I feel like I'm that guy who's just avoiding all the work, you know, when something hard comes and then, oh, I gotta go. But now I have a meeting at my grandma's bank that I'm going to go to to be able to get some of these papers right here turned in for her or on behalf of me or I don't know. She wants me to do something for her. And that's what these papers are for. But we have a 30 minute drive to the bank, probably a 30 minute meeting, 30 minute drive back. By the time I get back, Roman will probably be gone. <laughs> We just finished up here at Cole's. I should, well, finished up what's ready. Uh, there's still like 30 acres here in the front that we can't pick. Uh, it's a different number, it's a little wet. But so far this champion number up here, it's like a 253E. Yep, 253E is doing really good. This is doing like 70 to 85 all through here. So super pumped with that. Raised our field average up from like 62 to 68. So hopefully we get over here and get this done. And hopefully this field comes out to about 70. That'd be awesome. They're about eight bushel higher than the last time I think this was beans, I think, to look. So pretty happy with that. We're going to, uh, we just got our 10,000, 15,000 bushel bin full over there. We're going to um, 
go over there and help dad move the auger over to our 30,000 bushel bin. And then gonna get all that set up. And then me and Zach are gonna start moving down. I think we might go to the bush farm. I don't know what the next field is, but uh, hopefully we have some more dry beans so we can keep on motating. But we got 171 acres out so far this year. We're about two, two, 20th done with harvest so that means they're about 20% done with beans so hopefully we can get another 40 or 50 done today I'd love to get 50 so we're at that uh, 100 acre mark see how it goes around about an hour of time we set up and move down there it'll be a little over an hour probably so that'll put us about 5 5 30 so hopefully we run about 5 30 The meeting ended up taking two hours and then by the time I got back I had some other things come up and long story short it was midnight before I ended up getting home so Roman has now left he got that much dug down there so we got a nice start on the footing in the underground movie theater so when we continue we should be able to get everything else dug now I gotta go get to work on some other stuff so I'm gonna call it a day thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next one